Normally you get um, a premiere on a Wednesday night. I haven't found the time to do that, so I'm actually here real live. So I think it might be quite fun to actually do this and then I probably won't answer many questions. I'm gonna wait for one or two more people to jump on. Let me look at your comments, you've already commented. Hello, hello Jonathan, waiting to see what you, your creative mind's up to. Well, now then, let's talk um, decoupage. Today, <coughs> excuse me, thro frog in my throat. I'm working on this little chest. If you caught my live the other day, I discussed what I might do on this and we're gonna try and transform this live live. So, um, the options with this, I gave you options with which paper to go with, which was, should be in here. It was um, some cherubs. I'll show you just one half of this, cherubs. And the other one was apple blossom and orchid, which was this one. Me being me, I've changed my mind again. I, I must admit, most people went for the apple blossom, whether I kind of um, went towards that way myself, I don't know. I think um, I would have done it that way. I haven't used that paper yet, but neither of these are gonna happen. So, um, I'm a new subscriber, hello. Love your channel, thank you. So, right, um, let's talk decoupage. I, I have got a range of decoupage papers. One of them is um, part of that range and they're made by Poshchuk Deluxe Decoupage Papers. I keep on getting asked where to find them. If you go onto Poshchuk, um, Poshchuk Interiors, you will find they have a stockist finder. And this is really weird, reading the comments at the same time. Um, you will find them there. You will find a stockist finder and you'll be able to order them. There's some amazing um, patterns and different designs and some of the House of Mendes range, which I'm going to use. Now, forgive me, guys. I've completely gone sideways with this project. And it's just because I want to push myself. I want, I want to go for something a very a little bit different. Apple Blossom. Yeah, everybody likes the apple blossom. And I'm gonna do something really, really different and it's about pattern and design and trying to blend them in and trying to create something really different. I want to try and keep this in my home and all of my designs, I want to have at least one item of furniture or something like this in my home with my designs on. So, you're gonna think I'm crazy and I know this will divide opinions on design, but I'm gonna go for it should be in here. There we go. This is another one of my designs. I'm going to go for Monastery Panel. Now, story behind this, I didn't paint this. This was a panel um, in a monastery in Australia, which I took a picture of because I truly loved it. And we repeated that pattern over the paper. So that is what I'm going to use. Um, let me show you in its full. This is gonna take a long time. It's not the same as doing a pre-recorded tutorial. Right, so this is how it looks. As you can see, the pattern run from, um, let's see, yeah, it run from there to there. So there's six panels, and then it's also butterfly the other way. So it creates quite a nice pattern, but there's lots of pattern to be had in here. My idea behind this is, um, oh, people like the puffing, thank you very much. Um, I've removed, there was an oval on here and you can slightly see it. I'm hoping that the paper covers this a little bit. Um, the idea behind it is, I thought this might be really cool. This pattern to me is kind of very Versace inspired. That's what I'm th thinking. So this is gonna become a treasure trove for my photo family photographs. So I'm going to go with trying to manipulate this pa this this um, monastery panel across the whole piece and on the top using it in different ways. 
Wish me luck. I'm just going to crack on because there's too much talking. So that's my idea. So I've removed an oval from there. Let me show you. Somebody else came up with an idea. Why don't you take that off? This is what lived on there. I took it off. What, what I have done is um, it's had a coat of white. Most decoupage respond better with a background of white. It brings the colours of the um, decoupage much truer to what you see on the surface. If this was black, it would be very dull once it's um, in place. Also, because this was quite damaged and stuff, I'm, I'm trying to, I've added um, salt wash onto this, on the corners with on fleur chalk paint, and I've stippled it on the corners because I think that would be more forgiving with my blending around the corners because this is so curvy, I need a stop connection. So I've added um, salt wash to the corners and then I've given it a coat of white paint just feathered away at the edges. First up, I'm gonna, I've also added a few little bits of salt wash on here, so I'm just going to give it a quick sand and see what comes up. This, this should show through on, um, on the underneath, through the paper, should I say. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of this showing through. And a bit of texture also will come through the paper as well, so that'll be cool. towards you so you can see what I'm doing so it might be a bit wobbly guys if you're watching this on replay this was alive so um, I do apologize for the poor camera angles okay so I've got this pattern and I'm gonna try and work out where's best to apply this um, the reason I took the overlock is because I want to cover the whole thing right the way round and this top section, doing something slightly different on the top, and then we're gonna paint in the rest of the work. So, um, let me just clean up my area. Right, brush. Don't want all this dust around. Should really wear a mask, guys. Another reason for doing this non-live is that I can be a little bit more careful about what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, there's quite a few of you here. Keep the thumbs ups going, guys, because that will help the algorithms and it will push out further. So, I'm going to keep that empty for now and work out where best this pattern would be. would be quite nice with the arch in the middle or because I lost um, there was no um, what, what am I talking about John there was no um, on the here there was a clasp and the clasp had gone so I removed it so it's going to go without any clasp on it but I'm thinking to kind of evoke that maybe 
maybe if I go with that sort of centralised here, that will kind of look like that. And where would it end? It ends about there. So, that's quite nice actually. And look at that, it almost fits, not quite, it's a little bit over on those corners, which would be quite cool. So that is my first, my first piece. I'm going to start with the largest piece and then work out, because I might have leftovers that I can use in other areas. So, let's go with that. I'm going to pop it on its back. I'm going to bring you guys really close. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Right, you can see some of my distressing marks now. Um, I'm going to leave that leading edge on because it can just wrap around the corner. Okay, I, what I'm going to do... Oh, that's handy. It's nigh on straight through the centre, so I'm going to cut right the way through this with a pair of scissors. Where are we? Scissors, scissors, there they are. So, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to cut right the way through the middle. Just makes it a little easier to manhandle. There's a fold in the middle of this paper, so I can just follow that fold. I'm probably going to need two sheets of this, maybe three, depending on how elaborate I make the pattern. Right, that can go to one side. Now this one back. This is going to be tough, guys. I wanted to set a challenge for myself, really, because this is curvy. And I want to see how I can make this look as one. Yeah, that looks quite nice. There we go. I'm not going to worry about this edge at the bottom. I can paint over it. That's what we're going to do. Right, let's get some Posh Chalk Infuser. This comes um, as with the decoupage papers. It's a great product. It's a little bit thinner than um, any other glues that you might find. You can use it for other things as well. So it's a great product. I'm going, I might have to double up on this because I've just sanded, it will be very porous. So let's just give some space in with the infuser. This could be a long live, guys. It could be longer than one of my usual tutorials because I'd like to get quite far on with it. And I'm not reading any comments, but I will go back and read some comments a little later. Do that edge as well. Actually, it's not sucking it in too much, so I'll just give it another quick waz. You need to make sure you cover every part of the surface. Oops, stray hair. Right, here's the fun part. Let's work out. So I have got no gauge where the centre is, so I'm going to do it by these two corners. I want to line up those first, a little bit more the other way. Let me feel, that looks good there, that looks good there. A little bit of an overlap, great. That. 
feels pretty good. Lovely. Right, I've got another brush, a dry brush. We're gonna go in through the center, pushing down and working out, a bit like wallpapering. I've got to say, these are the easiest papers that I've ever used. It just, I don't know why it glides on. I think they're pretty strong and resilient, although very thin. Look at those colours, guys. The colours just pop out right at you. Right, now we have to contend with how we take the excess off. Um, I haven't thought this far ahead, can you tell? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water to the edge with a brush. Let's find a nice brush. Let me find a bigger one. And then we can peel it off. We'll go with this one. What do you guys think? Do you reckon it's gearish already? I think it's pretty gearish this, isn't it? Right, let's just, I'm gonna wet the edge, follow the edge, the contour. Can you see that? Yeah. A little bit of water on that edge. And then we're gonna just peel it back a little bit. I want as clean as I can get it, although we might sand this back. Oh yeah, it's coming off nice. I'm kind of just spraying it with my, I've got my hand underneath. We'll get you a close up in a minute on the other side. Ooh, that's quite nice the way that follows that line. I wasn't expecting that. Yes, that's really lovely, nice and clean. So I'm gonna keep that because that may come in handy later. Right, let's see. Oh yeah, you'll get a good view of this. So water, nothing special about this. In with that edge. I'm finding right on the edge where that, that line is. Following that curve right the way down through the end. All right, this is going to be hard for me this other way. Oh no, it's easier. Thumbs underneath. Just pulling away. I don't know if you can see that. You want a little bit of excess just to go around the corner as well, just to soften that edge. Just push that down. Nice and smooth. There we go. Um, happy accidents papers work really well with the shape of the piece. Yeah, thank you. Happy accidents do. Like that curve, it kind of works. I don't know why it works, but it does. So I'm, I'm actually gonna, because I'm happy with this, I'm not gonna worry about this lower edge here because I'm gonna put heavy paint over that. I'm gonna paint this and the feet. I'm just gonna give it a quick um, going over with some more infuser, just to make sure that's down. Oh, the colors are just so gorgeous in this paper. I 
know it's not to everyone's taste, but I love it. It's all hand painted. It was a, a metal panel with hand painted, which I think there's lots of places that we can add paint afterwards, which will be really nice. Right, that is that on. Where to next? The sides. Let's go on to the sides. Close this back up. There's my other papers inside now. Flip it around. I'm going to pop it like that for now and bring you a little bit higher. What do you reckon to my camera work, guys? Oh, there's plenty of you on this evening. Right, I've got the handle to contend with. This wouldn't come off. So we're going to go round there. Posh Chalk Infuser. Yeah, that's what it is. Posh Chalk Infuser. It's a great product. It, it glides on. It's really, really good. Right, now let's grab the paper back. We've got the other half. Let's see if we can play this a little bit, see where it would come to, what the pattern's like. Push that handle down. Right, so that does not work. But it does from, from the arch, yes. So, we are going to need another strip of paper, but never, the, never mind that, it will work. I will be happy with that. If we can connect in, can you see that little bit there will connect into the bit underneath. And as for the curvy bits, well, that'll just do what it needs to do. This is an awkward place for me to be. Let me grab my little stool to stand on. Hopefully I won't fall off my little standy stool. Oh, it's wobbly, it's wobbly. That's it, I can see a little bit better now. Yes, that will be great. So, I'm gonna go back in with the infuser. Push the handle up for now. Open the lid a little bit. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just go for it. We'll worry about the handle and go around that in a moment. I might paint that back in afterwards. Probably not going to do the back, definitely not tonight. I might paint that a flat colour, this will be up against a wall. I am giving it a healthy coat. Ordinarily, with other paints you wouldn't need to, this is chalk paint and I've sanded it so it's very porous. Um, so that's why I'm going heavy. And it does tend to dry up quite quickly on the edges, so. I'm gonna pop that up for now. And we'll locate the handles in a little while. All right, that's that. Let's see if we can line this pattern up. Right, let's have a little play. It's slightly... You do get a lot of wriggle room with these papers, guys. I want that to be... Make sure it's level at the top. And of course, we can put it in with some um, some paint afterwards. I think that needs to go a little higher than the other one. Yeah. 
that is where I'm going to go. That is it. We're not going to worry about that anymore. Slightly more difficult on a curve. We are going to get what we're going to get here, weirdly. Pattern doesn't match up perfectly, but never mind. It's going to have to come down. See how much resilience this paper's got? I'm pulling it. Can you tell I've gone uh, quiet because I'm concentrating? <laughs> Talk amongst yourself, guys. Talk amongst yourself. Right. I'm not winning. I'm going to be shy a bit of paper at the bottom, but I will fudge that in. Definitely. That's me. That's where it's going to be. I'm a little bit shy down here, but not to worry, paint will fix. Sharp my scissors. I think I'm better just ripping. That's it. Lift the handle up. Straight around underneath that side. shy at the top as well. Never mind. Paint will fix. Stretch it out. Well that was hard going. Let's take the edge off. Yeah, I give myself the hard job to do on an actual live. Ooh, there's 88 of you here watching, wow. Actually, that's not a bad connection, it's not too bad. Ooh, yeah, look at that up there. That's what I was going for, the top. And that bit connects. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm happy. I'm a bit shy here. That's going to have to be painted back in, but not to worry about that. That's all part of the fun. Right, I'm just going to do the other side. Ugh, 
now dipped in the glue. Don't want the glue, we want the water. Voila. Sorry if that looked really fiddly, guys. Really sorry. A little bit more infused over the top. Around that hinge. Can you see there? Maybe you can't see it. I'm a little bit shy with the paper, but I will fudge that in with a little bit of brown or flair, make it look rusty. I just wanted that clean, that lovely clean, clean edge. It's the price you pay, I suppose. Let's pop it to one side and then we can, have a, we can all have a good old look at how that connects. Wrong brush. Right, I'm going to take you out of here, just briefly, so you can see. Look at that edge. It's pretty good. It does go off a little bit there, but we could probably paint that bit in. Can you see now, it's kind of got that Versace craziness about it. And that's what I thought would be fun, especially going round the curves on this. Now, I've, of course, I've got to do the other side, but I might do it upright because if I lean on this, I might break the paper. So we will do the other side. Can you see, guys? That's it. Right. Let's, let's put you back up here. Thank you for your patience. This is real, real, real life. Right. Save that piece again. What I've now got to do is open another packet because I need one half. So we'll pop that there, bring you out a little bit and you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. Pull this over there. It is a bit crazy. The more I look at it, it's a bit crazy. Crazy, but that's how I like it. Right, same again, I'm gonna cut through the center of this paper. In fact, we probably will get the back done because I know that I've got one side there, one side there. The leftovers I can use on top. quickly scan back at your comments. Uh, love what you were doing, hey from... Hello, hello, hello. Hello all the usual. You're all here, that's lovely. Thank you for coming. It's really good. Trust me to pick a really difficult project to do with you guys, or make it difficult for myself, but that, that's important that you guys see me fumbling around as well. Um, Flat surfaces, these papers go on lovely. Really lovely. Right. So once again, I'm gonna to have to marry this up to, let me just check that I've got. Just enough. Like I said, we can fudge it back in with Open. There we go. 
I will promise to read your comments later on this evening once I've completed what I'm doing. I know you're probably thinking, why wouldn't I take the handle off? But these are literally stapled in, so I wasn't going to bother. Um, if I want to make them come back, I will paint them back in afterwards. The paper's so thin, I'll be able to paint over it, as long as it's down on its surface well and truly. I suppose it's just getting the paper on and then fixing the issues afterwards with paint. Hands up if you've ever decoupaged something so wiggly. Right, off we go again. This time, this one is a little bit further forward, so I'm going to line up the top first. Yes, that seemed to go on much better, this one. Now then, it does want to come all this way. And we're halfway there. Right. That's... That's my neighbour shouting at the dogs. Ooh, that just fits on the bottom of there, so that's good. easier this time around. Smooth that up. There, nice and smooth. Right, in with the water. Right the way through. Good, because you've got the sharp edge almost just to push against. These papers do have fibres in them, so occasionally you'll hit a thick fibre and it will kind of resist a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty good. We'll rip this again because it was easier to rip. We'll come over. Yeah, there's a little bit shy on that one as well, which is, I suppose, getting the pattern to match there, it runs it out on the other side, but that's fine. I'd rather the pattern be good at the front they're not good at, at the back. Oh, this looks great. Now I'm feeling it.
be a bit more brutal with this side because it's the back. Alright, that's really good. sat there watching aren't you? Right, infuse with it. Like I said I'm going to leave the back. I'm learning so much watching you Jonathan. Still taking it a lot of notes. Taking notes, that's really good. Well at least you can see the flaws in this as well. I suppose something like this is not as easy to decoupage but you've got to start somewhere I suppose and go with it. I was going to dress the collars back, but I'm thinking it looks really good. There we go. Right, lid down. Can we see? It slightly runs out there where it gets bulkier, but this kind of comes in really nice, as the other side does. I can play around with the paintwork here. I love it. I really love it. What do you think, Versace? Okay, so now we're going to need, I think I'm going to need a lot more paper because I want to, I want to carry on the pattern around here as well. And I'm thinking, let's see what we've got to play with. Um, right, there's lots of off cuts. I'm going to go, I might need a third paper because I really want this to be OTT. Um, right, so let's see if that works out. Ooh, what do you think, guys? Not all of this, but maybe just... Can you see that pattern there? Oh, well, let me bring you down. Let's see. Sorry, guys. You can see the top of my head. It does look very Versace like, doesn't it? Love it. Oh, thank you. So I'm thinking, look, that, just allow it to repeat, but only do, let's see, only do like a thin trim of it along that top. So say that much, just going up to that curve and then I can paint in a border and on there and then paint this maybe blue and then go with the border again and maybe some hand painted details with olive or something on there just change up the pattern a little bit so to get that yeah I'm gonna have to go through the center I think that would be great I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to trim that edge off because then I can see exactly where I'm going. Uh, rather than wrapping it underneath, let's trim that edge off. Where is the chisoris? Let me grab another pair. Let's see if these scissors are a little bit sharper. I really think this is going to live in my home now. At least I want one piece of every design of paper that I created. Obviously, this particular paper, you don't have to use it so elaborately. There's lots of elements you can break down. Lavish. I think it's going to take three papers for what I want to create, and that is a bit lavish, but nevertheless, it's good fun. Right, now we can see a little bit better. Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, this is going to go. So, should I, how should I go about this, John? Let's do, let's do. 
I think we're gonna what we're gonna do is make make a fold in this paper and then cut it, pre-cut it. I think that's probably a better way of doing it, and then we can paint over the edge. Let me pop this down. slightly bigger guys just in case. That's where we're going to go. Can you see where that fold is now? Yeah. Too much paper, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter. Yeah, far too much paper, John. I'm just going to take a little bit more off. Guestimation, risk it for a biscuit. hide the paper in the paintwork. Which way it would it's that way. Yes. I think it was right to follow the pattern up somehow and I think that is really good. So let's just crack on with it. Let's go for it. Like wrapping a Christmas present, an awkward shaped Christmas present. <laughs> Has anyone tried to wrap a football before? It's a little bit like that. To do the same thing again, we'll take the corners off and do the sides individually. Oh, I've done it again, guys. Keep on dipping in the glue. Keep on dipping in the glue. We need water. And then this, I think I'm going to paint this in blue and then add some of these lovely colours like this olive in there on the trim. I think that would be really, really pretty. What do you reckon, guys? I reckon that's really nice. Once that has got a, a nice line on there to break the top with the blue in there and then another line and then maybe some hand painted pattern along that trim. I think it'd be beautiful. Right, 
And let's carry on with the other sides. I might have to take another paper out here, guys. I love it, really love it. Isn't it wonderful to create something for yourself that you really love? How many watches set notice to Miss Jonathan? <laughs> Um, well, some of you might have missed me on this one because it's a real live, it's not a, a scheduled live. Uh, let's have a look what I've got. So it will be another paper, unfortunately. But I've got one, I've got two. And then we're going to add this other trim on. At least we'll be able to get the full back as well. Right, and this one. Or why not, let's have a little play. What have we got to play with here? Mm. Right, I know that I've got to cut this. Can I be, can I be sparingly and cut it halfway? Let's try and work out what I need and then see what, let me see what, where the pattern ends. It's that way up. Oh, it's the edge, it's the back edge, isn't it? Yes, so I can just cut the top off. Yes, perfect. I am here guys, I'm just going to put it on this work surface, bear with, bear with. Hands up if you're coming to see me in New Orleans. I know that the tickets are selling fast. And there is probably, there's, I know that it's gone over the 100 mark already and there's only 200 tickets. So if anyone wants to come, you might have to get in there quick. So that is going to be ultimately there. Again, I've cut it too long, but it's rather to cut too much than cut twice, measure, no, measure twice, cut once. I'm cutting twice, that doesn't make sense, does it? You know what I mean. Measure twice, cut twice. Just didn't want to cut it short, that was all. That's good. So unfortunately we are going to have to um, cut again. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Go, 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 go. Brush. I hope this isn't boring for you guys. That's why I like to pre-record. I really like to pre-record because it cuts out a lot of the faffing about. Mind you, a bit of faffing about is good, so you can see me faffing about. I too faff about. Get the pattern right. Now then, ooh, could 
I do that? Could I do that? Do you know what, guys? What I'm going to do here, remember the sh shy bit there? I'm going to go over it and leave it and then cut it afterwards, I think, just so I can fudge that back in. Save a little bit of painting. It might work. Just line up the pattern. Let's quickly take that end off, so just make it a lot easier. Oh, that wasn't a good thing to do, John, was it? You want to keep that there and glue it down. Right, oh, keep on putting it in the glue, guys. What's wrong with me? That's it. Bit wiggly on that corner, but it's okay. I'm happy. A little bit of glue over the top. I'm going to leave it shut now because then I can cut through and I've gained my pattern back. What do you reckon? Yes. Right. One last side to do. I'm going to keep on going because I think methodical work is good. So you're going to have to watch me go all over again. Oh, now then. That doesn't want to be out. Oh, that's annoying. Mmm. Pokey pokey. That's it. Poke it in. I don't want to pull the paper off the other side. No, it's good. The little ribbon was hanging free. Right. I'm going again for a few seconds just to trim off some more paper for this, this part. looks really good on camera. The only thing about this one is there's, there's a connection where the patterns join. Can you see there? It's kind of quite where the shadow meets the light. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these in, I think, just to brighten them and slightly make it look more natural, which I think will be another live. I think we'll get the paper where we want it to be and then I'll do all of the paint work on another live. I think it'll be... Um, much better to do it that way rather than keep you here all night. Not unless you want to stay all night. I haven't even had my supper yet. Mr. M is probably watching from inside thinking, hurry up, go faster. The same thing again here, I'm gonna, where I missed the pattern, we're gonna go over, which hides the problem. Problem solving along the way. Any questions? You're all patiently watching, it's not there watching, it's really nice. Don't forget guys, give um, thumbs up. If you're enjoying watching, thumbs up because it does help the algorithms and the comments do, of course. Right. 
Oh, we've got a, we've got a star guest that's come in. She hasn't been here for a while. There she is. Don't get stuck to the paper, you little monkey. You're going to get stuck. She's a monkey. She has to be in every video. I, don't, I, I think I'm going to do a quiz, spot Lily, when I put the videos out, because she's in every video. She loves a bit of decoupage, I think. That's it. Lovely. See, I overlap that bit there, which is perfect because I can just slice through with my blade when it dries. Right, water. Water, not glue. Take this corner off. And this corner. This one could be a bit more brutal on the back. Oi! You want attention? She's here scratching my side. Lily, you're going to have to go out otherwise I'll have to shut you out. She's so demanding. Probably wants feeding. Me first. Right. Infuser. Over that. on. So this is nice and stuck down. It will be seamless once paint goes on there. Oh, I'm happy. Right, let's do a little bit of a spin round. Here we go. If I do it on the corner, you can see. So we're going to come back down again. It's a pretty good connection. Yes, it's my treasure trove. I'm feeling this. Right. Uh, what did he paint on the top? What did I paint on the top? So, up here, this is chalk paint. It did have a design on it, um, which it was a bit worse for wear, to be honest. It's been installed in a shed. So, this has had a little bit of salt wash because there was lots of broken bits and chips. So I, I've stippled with start wash on the corners um, because I didn't know how good this would connect. And I, I wanted that rustiness to come through. There's lots of rust in this design, it's kind of rusty. So if I choose to sand back a little bit, I can, I can play around with it. So it was on fleur, um, and it's on fleur with salt wash, just stippled on all of the connections on the trims. And then I've used old white chalk paint. Um, what is the paper design? The paper design, it's one of mine, which is a posh chalk um, deluxe decoupage paper, and it's the House of Mendes range. And this one is called Monastery Panel. I didn't paint this. This was a panel that when I was visiting Australia, when I was teaching in Australia four years ago, I went to a monastery and I spotted this panel and it was all rusty and crummy and beautiful. And I took a really good picture of it. And I always knew that I'd either recreate it, but I didn't expect to recreate it in decoupage paper. And many people have used this in so many different ways. Somebody did um, the most gorgeous um, mannequin and they made this kind of the bustier and it, and it looked like clothing. So that's what made me think this looks really like Versace. So. I'm going for that high-end, blingy, Versace finish. Um, so white chalk paint, um, just as a base coat. Decoupage paper really does like a light background. So if you've got a light background, it will the colours will come true. Hence, on the side, you can already see where I've got some of the... Up here, on the corners, and around this trim, there was the enfleur. And you can see it kind of looks rusty through. Um, that's the brown against the white. So I probably won't sand back, do anything to it, because it looks really good with those rusty marks on the edges. So that's why I did that. 
Okay, so now I've got to consider what I'm going to do in this oval. I don't want to repeat the, I want to use the same paper, but I don't want to repeat the pattern. So I want to kind of do something a little bit different. Um, and I've got all of these offcuts, which guys, never get rid of your offcuts, because if you're going to use the same paper again, you can do, um, let's see what that question was. Oops, sorry guys, wobbly. I'm looking at the questions, uh, like the soft curve. Box. Yeah, it's a beautiful box. I've got another one of these, actually. Um, I think it was a TK Maxx um, special. Right, what am I going to do, John? Let me just have a think about what I've got to play with. Um, sorry, guys, I'm thinking on my feet here. Um, what have I got to play with? Ooh, that might be quite nice. Let me just have a quick look at that. Looks a bit like a fish though. Oh, that, that's quite nice. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring you closer. So I'm thinking there's almost like an oval shape in this. Could I go with that? Hmm. Or, or, yes, that might be quite nice because those flowers will get cut off. It's just about the gold, gold and the blue. I think I'm going to go with that. Let's do it, John, let's do it. What do you guys reckon? So it's this kind of vibe. Let's see if I can do be sparingly with the paper. Let's see if I can do it that way. Well, that's a different pattern there. Yeah, I much prefer that. It almost looks like it's meant to be. So, right. Again, I cut again. I will use these other bits at some point on something else. I know that I will. Yes, I think that'll be quite nice. So let's just go make it easier on myself. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this Fit the oval. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to pre-cut it. Actually looks quite nice just like that, doesn't it? It's a shame I didn't take the other oval off. We're going to make it more tricky for myself now. Because that's really nice. Ooh, that's so annoying. Should have took it off and just gone with that. Anyway, I think I'm going to flip around because I like the lighter side towards the back. No, shadow side to the back. Yes, shadow side to the back. I think, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in, or should I pre-cut? Come on, John, what should I do? Let's pre-cut it. We'll get a pencil out. And I might even do it that way around so we can see a little bit better. I'd rather go that way, just so I can see where I'm putting. All right, that's centralized. That green goes there, green goes there, a little bit more that way. Sorry for fucking around, guys. I just want to make sure I get this right. I think further back. It doesn't matter where I place this because of those green leaves. I don't want to get all of those green berries in. I think that's nice. Nice. Let me get a pencil. Do we have a pencil? I don't have a pencil, but I have a pen. So let's see if we can get this to... 
Let's go, dare I do this? Gently does it. I shouldn't have really used the pen really, but hey ho, needs must. That'll do me. Let's cut it out. All of the little anomalies that I create where things go wrong, I will be painting over this paper later, which we'll do maybe next week. Maybe before we'll do another live on how I create a seamless finish with matching up colours and blending. Right, that way around. What do we reckon, guys? Ooh, that's quite nice. So, yes, I think it's kind of bright. I am gonna fill these corners in with something as well, but I'm only gonna paint these out and the, tr the straight edges and maybe add this little bit of design or pattern, take away something from, from the actual design, some of these blue marks or the olive, we'll see. I will come up with some, and then we'll paint this trim in as well. Let's stick this down. Go back in with the infuser. It's a little bit easier doing a flat surface instead of a curved. What do you reckon? That's very nice. Right, I want to try and figure out what's going to go around these edges. Um, let's have a look at the little bits that we've got left. Try and use up the smaller pieces. I'm thinking, actually, these, these little cornets of flowers, maybe, whatever they are, and actually take away the pepper around the edge. See if I can find another one. There's another one. So one there. One there, what have we got here? One up there. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it and see what how this pans out for me. So paintbrush water, I don't know where I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna chop off, just keep the blue background probably. Across there. Straight through. I 
This time I'm not going to worry about how it blends to the background. It will be a paint job to fix whatever this does afterwards. Keep a little bit of that. I'm just going to cut them out first and see how it looks. Yeah, it kind of works. So this would be, I wouldn't, this would be the corresponding one. Let's go back in. might not be right guys but we'll see it's just taking some design from somewhere else and making one new design yeah it's kind of quite nice reckon. I'll do the other two sides and see where that takes me. Maybe. It's a maybe from me. It's a maybe. Let's see. Right. Let's just go across there. It will look better once it's pinned down to the surface. Ooh. Sorry guys, low battery. So I've been on for more than an hour. I know that because this was charged. We'll get these on, see what we think. standing away just to have a little look at my balance. Yeah, it's quite good. Right, where's the other one? There was another one, here it is. That's the wrong side. Where is the right side? Maybe there's another piece. One minute guys, I will find it. The darker one. It's difficult to see when you've got lots of white areas. I may carry on and add something else. I'm not sure, or it may be just hand painted. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, Mr. M's here with a cup of tea. That's good. I'm gonna go with that. I feel like it's right for this project. So let's just start placing these down. Thank you, Mr. M. You wanna wait for them? No. Way to the, no, the cat, see you. Sit your thumbs up underneath here. He's shy of the camera, guys. There he is. There's mine. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go, he's gone. <laughs> oh. We've had Lily in and we've had, oh look at that, tea straight over everything. Whoopsie daisy. Bit of tea will stick it all down. I needed that wet anyway just to remove that edge. Right. I'm thinking about there. Probably a little bit more, but that's it. Right, let's go with it. Go with it. Move you out of the way. Yeah, let's get this on. Yeah, I think that looks really nice with that. It works. Same again on the other side. And don't worry about this, guys. I will paint this in and add some more designs. Watch your... Uh, let me see what that was. Watch your... Resolution. I don't know what that means. Watch your resolution. New Year's resolution. Photography re resolution, or am I just my dyslexia reading it wrong again? Probably. My res. Oh, I think we're talking to one another, aren't you guys? I will go back and watch this again later. Watch, and then I can kind of join in with the conversation because I've just been working away, beavering away, beavering away. I'm just going to go right in for the kill with this. I presume you're talking about decoupage papers and printing off. I presume. And if you are, that's cool. All right, so that wants to be a little bit more there. I want to get it the same as the other side. I'm going over, but these will be painted out ultimately. Next, where did I put the other one? Oh, it's here. Right, let's line it up with the other one. There's a little leaf that kind of goes up and over there. Close. That's it. Might need to take a little bit of this paper away so it, over, it will overlap a little bit. And I want to take some of that away. So, scrape it away. Too much paper there. That overlap, that's better. The colours match a, bit, a little bit better that way. There we go. Now we can see, oopsie, don't want to do that. Go that way. So guys, I may add a bit more design. I haven't yet decided, although I quite like that. I think the openness of the blue just blending in might be cool, um, but I'm not going to carry on because it's getting late. The battery's running low. I know that you've all stayed for a good hour and I really appreciate that. There we go. I will give you, let's move on this waste paper because I'm going to use that again. Oh yes, once this white's gone and we get a blue and we get this other darker blue and some Old and some also some olive maybe on these trims it's going to come to life we're going to lose a lot of the um 
a lot of the white. We don't want any white showing on this piece. I think it really deserves to be all colourful. I'm really sat satisfied with that. Oh, I keep on pulling that bit of paper back. Whoopsie. That's it, smooth it down, John, smooth it down. Right, let me just say hi. Ah, look at that, guys. Look, it is like Versace. <laughs> Versace treasure chest. Um, right, I'm going to say a few things. Uh, see, look at you guys. You're all helping one another. I can see you all talking to one another, and I love that. This is what this um, channel is all about. And it's great that you are all talking uh, with one another about technical things um, and helping one another. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, ooh, black or, I, I'm gonna read the comments. I'm gonna settle down and read the comments later. Let me see, can I reverse the camera? Yes. So let me just give you an overall. Look how the light catches it. All the way around. That works beautifully for me. Um, can't see anything too blurry. Is that me or is it your technical stuff? Let me just hold. When I wobble the camera, it does get blurry. Can we see? I'm going to come up and over. Gonna flip back. There we go. I'll do that in case you didn't see, guys. We've got a bit more work to do. So what I might do, I might even do a mid, mid to late week weekend, um, early weekend. Sorry, maybe Friday, depending when I finish work to finish this um, off because I'm really loving doing it. So um, I may come back at some point. There will be a part two to this, most definitely. So I'll let this dry. Um, I might consider adding a bit more, maybe not. I'll know when I get to start putting paint on it as well. Okay, I'm gonna go in and have a very late, it's dark now, a late supper. Thank you everybody for staying with me. If it's, um, if you're watching on replay, um, Give me a thumbs up, that'll help the algorithms. Don't forget there's plenty of more um, tutorials to be had on my channel. I really appreciate you all being here and supporting my journey. Everything that I do is to just inspire other people to go and give it a go. Um, as you've seen, I've done it live live and um, yeah, there was a few hiccups along the way, but then that happens to us all. Um, Louis Blue, yes, Louis Blue is a perfect colour. I might use Louis Blue and a little bit of old white just to knock it back. Um, I think it'll look great. That is exactly, look at my fingers all sticky. Um, so yeah, definitely on that deep edge and then I'll work out whether I need designs. It's, it's evolving, it's one of those projects that it's just gonna evolve as I go along. Um, and that is the best part of being creative, isn't it? Yeah, once again, thank you for being here and supporting my journey. Um, if anything, I hope to inspire many more people to just go and give it a go. That's all that I'm about. I love sharing creative ideas. I've got lots of things coming up, new exciting things coming up. So um, watch this space. That's why I've not done a, lot, um, a tutorial this week. Um, I've just been far too busy. Anyhow, I'm going to wish you all lots of painted love and I will catch up with you maybe by the end of the week. If I am going to do a live Later on in the week, I will post a post on page and everything just to say when I'm going to be live. But you'll catch it on replay anyway. Um, it's been a real pleasure tonight to kind of get crafty with you guys. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.